everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a review of the latest from Billie Eilish. This is her second fragrance called Eilish 2, uh, keeping the name simple there. So I'm gonna be letting you know what this smells like and how it compares to her original Eilish, Eilish 1 I guess, um, that came out before Christmas. If you're new here, then hello, welcome. I'm all about perfumes. I have hundreds of videos like this. I'll leave my link to my video on original Eilish down below, along with where you can buy this. Um, it's just come out, so it's only available in some retailers, but I'll leave it where I can for all around the world. And if you're a regular viewer, do make sure that you are subscribed and give the video a thumbs up. That really helps me. And of course, you can check out my blog, which has in-depth articles on whole perfume ranges. And on my website as well, you can purchase my perfume Emperor and pre-order my second perfume Aphrodite which is out this summer and also check out my beautiful long-lasting strong strong concentrated uh, soy wax candles cool so um, the original Eilish perfume came in the same bottle which um, if you watch that video you'll know that I find a little bit uncomfortable I guess I don't know it has quite large breasts on it and you sort of have to hold the breast as you take the lid off and I just find that a bit odd I guess I don't know I don't really want to think about Billie Eilish's breasts I'm not sure that this is actually modeled on her it just looks like a generic woman shape and then we've got this head kind of half as he most heads are of course um so I find the bottle just like it's good for innovation that they're trying to do something different um it's essentially a plastic mold and inside you've got a very basic square um, sorry, rectangular perfume bottle, and then this is all just glued around it. And this will just be sprayed this darker metallic black color, whereas the other one was like a dark um, gold color. Now the original one I wasn't a fan of. Um, it's a it's a vanilla perfume, but it has these spicy notes in it, which for me made the vanilla smell a little bit sort of almost sour, a bit sort of musty, slightly green. I just couldn't get on with it. I do like vanilla in perfumes, but there was something in original Eilish that didn't work for me. This new one Eilish 2 has been made by the same perfumer. This perfumer is Steve Di Mercado and he is a master perfumer. He's created a lot of celebrity scents like scents for Parrish Hilton, Jennifer Lopez, Jessica Simpson, even Nicole Richie. Uh, Rihanna's Riri fragrance was created by him as well and I think probably his most famous one is um, Escada Magnetism which is that berry perfume. I think it might be discontinued now. So he's definitely used to working on celebrity perfumes. So what does number two smell like? So it does definitely smell different to the original. Um, for me, the main note that I'm getting here is an ebony wood. Now ebony wood is actually um, really nice um, in my view because it takes that um, woodiness but then it's slightly sweet. Um, I don't know if you've ever sort of actually smelt ebony if that makes sense. Um, it's a very dark wood and it's quite compact and it has a, a sweetness to the scent um, which I definitely get in here and I definitely get that sweet ebony as the main note. There are other woody notes in here as well which I do get and I definitely get um, a little bit of a creaminess but definitely an earthiness from the woods. It feels like quite a outdoors, earthy, nature, woody fragrance. I think that's also helped by the papayas um, note in here as well which gives a little bit of greenness. When I first sprayed it the top note has an apple blossom in and a bergamot so I did get a little bit of a sweet apple blossom a freshness but but after sort of five, 10 seconds, um, that ebony, that sweet ebony was really coming through. It lists vanilla in here and maybe it's there uh, helping with the sweetness, but I don't really get a lot of vanilla, certainly not like in the original Eilish. And it also lists black pepper, which I was worried about because I'm not a black pepper fan. Personally, I don't get any spiciness, any black pepper from this. Again, the original Eilish one had a, a spiciness to it which I really didn't like whereas this one I, I, I like it it's a nice ebony fragrance 
Again, it feels a little bit different to what we're used to, especially from celebrity fragrances. And I think this will do just as well as her original one has. Obviously all her fans will be buying it, but I think this one, I'm finding that it has some lasting power. It's an eau de parfum, it's deep. The only thing I'd say is it's coming out now in the spring. For me, this is more of a warm autumnal type fragrance. This here is a 30 ml and it's 32 pounds. The 50 ml is 42 and then the 100 ml is 52. So much better value for money. And um, though I've noticed the 100 ml seems to be selling out um, very quickly. But I think for a 30 ml, this is actually quite big. Like if you're looking for it for a gift or something, it's quite a good size box. You just, sometimes 30 mils are so tiny, you feel a bit like not as good value for money, but um, the price point on this is good. And I think this is interesting and different and a, a niche brand could release this fragrance like an ebony perfume and easily charge, you know, over a hundred pounds for it. And um, people would find it interesting and different. So I definitely think this is much better in my view than the original. And it's the kind of thing I would wear in the autumn winter. It's giving me a little bit of um, Maison Margiela by the fireplace vibes because of that woodiness, that slightly sweet, like Christmassy type vibe. Um, so I definitely think this could be a perfect Christmas perfume. And it definitely feels very unisex. There's nothing particularly feminine about this. Um, definitely could be worn by any gender. And I think the same is true of the original Eilish as well. And that's probably something that she has done on purpose to make her fragrances unisex. And I can see that just like my perfumes and candles, this is Peter approved, vegan and uh, cruelty free, not tested on animals. Um, it's got the same um, accreditation that I have. So um, yeah, so another like good characteristic about this. So definitely much more impressed with this than I was the original Eilish. So guys, let me know if you've managed to try this yet. What do you think? I know a lot of you really liked the original um, and didn't like that I didn't like it, but yeah, let me know what you think about the second one in the comments. I do read all your comments, um, but that's it guys. Um, so thanks so much for watching as always, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Oh,